Brock Lesnar is just a bona fide, legit badass. The dude, if you really break everything down, even his Titantron video, his theme song, his entrance, you know, the way he walks to the ring, everything's so basic. It's nothing, nothing really flashy, but the guy that, the way that this guy carries himself and just everything about him is just like, you look at him and you're just like, that's not a wrestling character. He really is that way, and I'm really scared of him. Like, he is just that good and effective at the way he is. And the reason I say that is because he's come back what, like, I mean, you know, he comes and goes, given his WWE schedule or contract, but every time he his music hits, every time he comes back, you're excited to see this guy in the ring. Tonight, look, tonight's a prime example. He didn't hit anybody. He didn't have any physical, you know, altercation with anybody. He just came out there and was himself. Of course, it doesn't hurt when you have Paul Heyman as your mouthpiece, but it, it, it's just, it works. And the reason I say that is because there is no reason why Brock Lesnar shouldn't win that SummerSlam. Um, kayfabe-wise, you look at it this way. There's no reason Brock Lesnar should lose, given, yeah, Cena beat him in 2012, but things have changed since 2012. You can make the kayfabe argument that he's shaken off ring rust, he's um, jumped into a whole other level, since 2012, because he ended the Undertaker's WrestleMania streak, as Paul Heyman has reminded us once or twice, and he is just, he's a, he's in a whole other level now, and you can argue that he's in a whole other level than he's ever been prior to his previous run with WWE from uh, 2002 to 2004, just because that, and there, I'm looking at this as a KP perspective, of course, that Taker win that the win against Taker at Mania is just huge, and they're gonna milk the hell out of that because look at the lineage, the lineage of this um, WWE Championship. Because after SummerSlam, they're gonna get rid of the WWE, the after, they're gonna get rid of the big gold World Heavyweight Championship. So we're just talking about the WWE Championship title belt. Look at the title holders that that belt has had. You got The Rock, you got John Cena, and you have Randy Orton, and now you have or Daniel Bryan, you have Randy Orton. And now you would have Lesnar. Those are all big names. And now the guy that's broken the Undertaker WrestleMania streak is going to be one of those title holders. I don't care what any what argument anyone gives me, whether it's the the contract Brock Lesnar has. He can't work uh, September through the, through through January pay per views. Fine, you can easily write your way out of this. It's it's wrestling, guys. They can per, they can choose how they'll go out here it's not like it's real life where well what if this guy leave because he's not under contract for you know certain dates like they choose how they will get out of this if they're smart they can do something really good if they're lazy they can have brock just leave with the WD title at SummerSlam, and then the world heavyweight championship will be the one that gets vacated and they'll have a battle royal tournament whatever and then that person will win it they'll be the interim champion until about january or february when lesnar comes back lesnar will beat that guy lesnar will head into wrestlemania and lose the championship to maybe hopefully daniel bryan and there's just that and that's just me pulling that out of my ass on the spot these guys can actually sit down think of it logically hopefully and come up with a better solution i'm just saying there's no reason why brock lesnar should not or should walk out, uh, there's no reason why Lesnar should not walk out as the champion on at, at, rest, at SummerSlam. <laughs> um, there's just no way. I don't care what argument you give me. I'll come back and just pretty much argue that how pretty much how badly WWE needs this. I don't, I'm not going to go into numbers and what they've lost and what this means for show, shareholders in this argument. Just for a buzz perspective. This company can use something like this, and to see, uh, to have uh, Brock Lesnar be their champion for the first time in eight or ten years, that'd be big. But yeah, that's just me. I'm I'm excited. This is I'm going to SummerSlam uh, next month, um, at least as of now, and uh, I'm pumped because uh, Lesnar is money. Lesnar is draws. Lesnar is buys. Plain and simple. Thank you guys for watching.